Well, the US presidential election is basically Mark II of Gone with the Wind. It's taken <laughs> so long. Kirk Clyde, why the delays? It's just ridiculous. It's just Republican obstructionism. And, you know, before we get into this nastiness, I thought we'd just hang out with my, well, her name's really adorable, which is what Mark, my partner, <laughs> named him. But I know her real name is Eve. Evil, evil. Evil, evil. <laughs> but she's chocolate. She's chocolate, which is what I did on my birthday. Just ate chocolate cake all day. You can't go out. Oh, you might be able to hear just like, just like last week. <laughs> That's right. The police. Well, in fact, we shot this all on the same day. <laughs> no. <laughs> what, a to even, what a torturous no. event that would have been. Well, you know, the reason I'm wearing this again is because, Mike, these are the actual winners of the election. Say, it just shows you how dis distorted things are in the United States. 2016, Donald Trump, 306 electoral votes. Hillary Clinton, 232, although Donald keeps getting her number wrong many, many times. So the exact same numbers this time, except flipped around. However... In 2016, remember Hillary Clinton won by over three and a half million in the popular vote. Now you have got, of course, Joe Biden up by over seven million. But lo and behold, the Republicans refuse to believe it. The trending on Twitter is uh, sedition. Trending on Twitter is the sedition 17 or the 17 seditionist. Because in addition to this guy, Ken Paxton, who is the attorney general of Texas, who's basically just out there, Mike, cruising for a pardon, because just, I think, yesterday, as we record this midweek USA time, federal agents were in his office in Austin, Texas, looking for documents, serving warrants and subpoenas. So he's just cruising for his pardon. And amazingly, more than half of the Republican members of the House of Representatives signed an amicus brief to the Supreme Court. And this is just mush mash lies, insinuations. <laughs> it's judicial garbage. <laughs> But what they're basically trying to do, these attorney generals and these 106 members of Congress, is say, if you live in Michigan, if you live in Georgia, if you live in Wisconsin, if you live in Pennsylvania, we're just going to take all your votes and throw them away. They That's a great last, idea. You know, I last, really love that idea very much. They are claiming that last minute changes mm. in the election protocol affected them in the other states because of the election of the president of the United States. Republicans forever, forever have been the party of states' rights and all you Southern fans out there. That's what the Civil War South claimed, claimed they went to war for, was for states' rights. But now you're saying that four states can't, can't put their own slate of electors up for the president. It's judicial garbage and propaganda, and it just continues to separate America. And today, as we record this Thursday, USA time, Rush Limbaugh, Medal of Freedom winner from Trump, who's been pumping out hate for the last 30 years, says maybe it's time that we separate in the United States, that we have secession. Because the last time this happened, though, Kirk, was... Uh, during the just before the American Civil War, don't well, Civil don't... War has been trending too. It's you know that's mm. why we have thirty days of supplies here at home and fly spray. Take a... and fly spray. And you have to be a regular viewer to get that <laughs> illusion, but yes, because it shoots thirty feet out there. But the fact is, you know, because we don't have guns, because you got face, vicious people ducks. Got their gun... You got ducks. Yeah, du ducks are pretty intimidating. Let me tell you, you ought to see a fifteen-pound duck coming at you gets your attention. <laughs> that's an but, ostrich. But, that's an ostrich. The bottom, we have big ducks. But the bottom line is, you know, you, people out there buying guns like crazy. I've mm. seen the lines at the store. But good luck now getting ammunition. That's in short supply. And what you do have, you think you're going to be able to take on even our Metro SWAT team out here, who one fine officer, you can find it on my Twitter feed a couple of weeks ago, uh, told me, you know, in certain terms to, um, well, you can just look at that feed. You know, it makes me fully understand why. There is the saying, which I believe, like President Obama and Joe Biden said, could come up with a better phrase than defund the police. But I certainly understand why people say that. And I'm an old white guy. Nonetheless, this is just oh. an incredible situation 
for Joe Biden to come into. And a lot of people are now saying, I'm sure there's a tremendous amount of discussion going on in the Biden camp, how to respond to this. So far, you can go to at 46 transition on Twitter, and that's their official Twitter feed for this. And if you're just a glutton for punishment and just want to abuse yourself, you can look at the Trump Twitter feed. The man, oh my God, he's still gonna be president for another 40 days. I'm really not gonna be able to catch my breath until he is out of there. It's simply mind boggling. But the question is, how does Biden and the administration team, the president-elect's administration team, respond to this? So far, of course, the attorney generals from the states that have been sued, this case that we started talking about, it's Texas with the support of 17 other states suing four other states, mm. suing Wisconsin, they're suing uh, Michigan, uh, Georgia, and Pennsylvania. It's crazy. It is crazy. And you ought to see the subplots going on mm. on uh, Twitter. You've got this incredibly conservative governor of Georgia, Brian Kemp, and yet people are saying, oh, man, is he an agent of the CCP? Is he a Chinese Communist Party agent? How he dumb is. can you people he be? Is. How dumb? He, but he is. His nickname is yeah. Agent Dumpling. Uh, maybe it's not. just it, it is it is a, the weirdest, strangest mm. holiday season that I've ever seen. I'll look at my liked tweets. You ask me another question, then I'll go off on another tirade about something. Yes, go just uh, t looking at Facebook, yes. uh, the antitrust, yes, yes. the antitrust oh, is a yes, that's man. A great that's a one. that's a big deal, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It really is. You know, and this is one time that I think the attorney generals, I believe, like forty-eight of them. So this. Oh, my gosh, it's something bipartisan. Facebook sucks. You know, what's amazing is you have the right wing saying, oh, Facebook is towards the left. But no, if you look at the analytics and statistical data of it, Facebook skewed so much towards the right. It's unbelievable. Mm, and really, not really, what would you expect? Not really. Oh, not really. Oh, no, they, yes. they, they were they were a oh. great, great funder. Oh of the electoral activities in the democrat not, counties not when you look not when you mm. look you can read if you're reading the epoch times or the rags like that you know you may get distorted facts because there's facts there's lies mm. and then there's statistics mm. but the bottom line with facebook is look who the man is that started it he started facebook to rate the attractiveness of co-eds at harvard and basically that's a good people's idea. character that's a great idea yeah. Uh huh. Basically, people's character and temperament don't change. Easy to find me on Twitter. I'd love to, for you to follow me at Clyatt, C L Y A T T. I'm proud to say I've not been on Facebook for years. What they're looking to do with this suit is basically what happened was anytime Facebook would see a company that could nibble away at the corners or be some little bit of their business, or be some take away a little bit of something from them, they bought it. Of course, WhatsApp, I must admit, I have WhatsApp on my phone. Instagram, I don't really, I guess I have an Instagram account, but I don't use it. What's amazing is I have followers and I've never posted a picture. But what they're looking to do, the federal government, is to get some of their major subsidiary services that Facebook owns, like WhatsApp, like mm. Instagram, spun off into separate companies. You may remember the last time we had something like this many years ago, actually, was with the Bell Systems when you had, I think it was the early 70s, so we're talking like almost 50 years ago, when you had AT&T, the Bell System was uh, broken up in an anti-monopolistic litigation by the Justice Department. Then you had things like Mid-Atlantic Bell and New York Bell and Bell South. So it broke them up, the Bell System, into what was called at the time these baby bells. So we've gone a long way from analog telephone to the digital world, but it's a similar scenario where so much of the social media spectrum, which is clearly important to billions of people on a daily basis. And Facebook has become like China. Mm. Try, try to get by the day without using a product from China. Right now, you can't. the phone I'm using to talk to you on, the light, the two lights, it's, it's unbelievable. Although I do have this other phone. 
Mm. I actually have an LG phone built in Korea. <laughs> That's so, right, yeah, but, not... but with Chinese knowledge, I would imagine. Look, they, speaking of China, you are right. They're, they're everywhere. They're in your yeah. in your kitchen. Just... I mean, not not the Chinese, but the goods are everywhere. Your televisions. No, are... no, no, we have some money, and they're an Asian cook. <laughs> is dinner ready? There, Let me there see. Are... No, the guy they're... from China is cooking right now. No, they're, un- they're under the table. But look, China's everywhere, including no. once Biden gets no. in, they're also in government. I mean, look at, that, no. I mean, look at the yeah. Democrats. You guys love the Chinese spies. No. I mean, you love them no. in more ways no. than one. Quickly, state lockdowns uh, seem to be targeting restaurants and personal services. No, there uh, are. And, and I understand. Well- I understand what they're doing. But tell me this. What is the difference between a smaller store that sells, say, hardware and a big one that sells hardware? Smaller one is shut. The big one stays open. There are a lot of real problems with this. If you listen to my podcast from last Saturday on 6PR, so just search 6PR. It's a wonderful Another radio plug. station in Perth, mm-hmm. in Perth, Australia. 6PR and Kirk Client, K-I-R-K-C-L-Y-A-T-T. And go in midway through that show. I have the clip of a proprietor who runs a bar and establishment in Southern California. She's put a mm. lot of money into outdoor mm, dining. Saw that. Yep. And I totally, totally agree with her predicament there because it's the same BS that they tried to mm. put off here. Mm. And I'm going to say there's BS on the left and on the right, there too. Is. There I is. I generally like our governor, Steve Sisolak, here in Nevada, but he allowed construction of the Boondoggle Allegiant Stadium mm. to continue. It looks like a Roomba. Have you seen those vacuum cleaners? <laughs> Looks like a giant Roomba on the I-15. It's the home of the uh, Las Vegas Raiders football team. Mm. And so far, zero fans have been in there. So that construction continued. They just had to get it done in uh, in lieu of the COVID restrictions. Mm. And now they're trying to say that TV production is essential in Southern California. I mean, well, it is. So we need to watch I NCIS ha- and got to watch right, all those great right. shows. Well, that- I, <clears throat> I feel this, I feel absolutely affinity mm. with the woman. She's mm. worked hard. She's got an outdoor dining area. Hers is closed down. On the other side of the coin, you have the craft services area Mm -hmm. for a movie coming in. That is absolutely wrong. But there's politics on all sides. Mm. How much do you close down? I'm not excusing these actions. And I think you've got to feel very sorry for this particular woman. But I think I tweeted in March when all this insanity started going around Las Vegas. It's like saying, I'm I'm kind of pregnant. No, you're not kind of pregnant. You are pregnant or you're not pregnant. You know, oh, maybe I'm, maybe mm. I'm, maybe I'm pregnant. Same thing we had here. You got to shut it down or you're mm. going to leave it open. Oh, we're kind of shut down except for the construction, except for A, B, C, D, Z. Look what happened. Melbourne, the Victorian government there, they did it the right way. No, they they did it, open. but they, after they killed 870 they, people. Oh, but believe we made a mistake. Me, that's but we, hard, yeah. I, That's hardly any compared that have died here. Victoria doubled the population Mm. of Nevada, roughly, you know, Mm. within the ballpark, doubled the population in Nevada. Nevada has over 3,000 deaths, not Mm. cases, 3,000 deaths. And our governor has tried to do things the right way. Mm. And I was at today, I I admit, you can call me hypocritical if you want, but casinos send me free play in the Bible of Vegas. It's against the gospel to not use free play. So it doesn't say anything in there about the pandemic. I was looking in the Vegas Bible, see if there's a you know footnote about pandemics. But no, you have to use your free play because you can't lose with free mm. play. So I was running into a casino today to use my ten dollars of free did play. Did you wear a mask? And I I did. I did indeed. That one and, that um, terrible one you were wearing before? Uh, no, the one with the winners. The winners. <laughs> I'll just wear it on the way out here. But I was but they stunned won. how many they people won. how many well, you know what? The Electoral College votes on the 14th. Let me check my calendar. Yep. Oh, that's Monday. <laughs> All states no, and no, the We need to Columbia see what happens with the Texas, the Lone Star yeah, it's gonna State. Be nine I mean, I'm looking nothing. forward to it's seeing what be happens. Nine. If, there's, if, if by some horrible situation mm. that case was granted and approved by the Supreme Court, America would be over. The but end. as I said, the last time it happened was... Just prior to the Civil War. But you're fine. You've got your personal generator. You've got fly spray, other goodies we're, there. We're Plus, you've got the, the ducks. Generator. You've got the blo- deaf dog who won't be able to hear anybody come in, but That's once right. they see something, they're going right. to let loose. You've got, your, you've got your cooking. That'll scare yeah, them I'll off. Tell you what, on the way out, 
Oh, Peggy, we actually have an auxiliary refrigerator out here just for eggs. Let's show you on the way out, shall we? <laughs> shall I'm looking we? forward go. to this. Uh, on the way out. All right, here we are. This is our beautiful OLA. Here's mm -hmm. Ted, our beautiful Christmas seat. Isn't that stunning? This is our little tropical backdrop. This is, you know, and then in here, and here we turn on the light. This is our little storage room where we have some of our supplies, just to give you an idea of what we have. We have the, we have uh, dried fat, dried milk. We have pounds of rice, many, many cans of tomato some sauce. Tomatoes, yep. We have, and then if we ever need an egg, we have duck eggs and we've accumulated some other eggs. These are all duck eggs. Oh my, are your ducks on steroids? <laughs> that's, yes. that's far so, too many for a normal duck. I know. And, I know. and the so, scary thing is that the male ducks. No, there are only a couple of them out there. So anyway. <laughs> they're exhausted, anyway. they're exhausted. Ah. They're the dogs, they're the dogs. They'll say bye. Bye, bye, bye. Kirk, we've enjoyed that, uh, that very much. Talk to you next week, maybe. Bye. <laughs>